Clothes, shoes, what you're wearing that day, how you want people to see you, a follower, a leader, impressions, impersonations, trends, all that shit. How your clothes reflect you, rebellious, conformity, clumsy, fraud. The only thing people can know about you without talking to you is your style. Hype Beast, a person who buys kicks, clothes, belts, whatever for the sole purpose of impressing others. Limited, the finite amount of the article that decides whether you're cool enough to be part of the gang. Um, well basically, I remember you guys got divorced when I was around 13, and um, around that same time I was really getting into, like, fashion, as I might say. Um, I just got a lot of money from my bar mitzvah, as you know, and I was spending it on stupid shit. Uh, and at the same time, you were saying, Sam, Sam, how could, are you ridiculous? How could you be spending $500 on a sweater and whatnot? And I think it all really started around the same time that the divorce happened. Um, I've always been pretty attention hungry as a person. Uh, I feel like when no one's paying attention to me, I get pretty lonely. And that makes me actually think that I'm myself, I'm lonely. But when people are paying attention to me, I don't think of myself as lonely. Soho was the place for kids like me, the hub for hype beasts. On my spare time, when I spent all the money my dad gave me that week, I'd go into stores and just try shit on, then look at the price tag, and either plead my dad for more, or save up not spending any on food or movies. I think if I was wearing a certain thing, then I would attract a certain crowd. It's like called flexing. It was one of my real friends that recommended like, yo, you know it'd be awesome if we went on this Outward Bound trip. And I was like, yeah, that would be really cool. because. I mean, things I actually liked were like, you know, going out into the wild and really ex experiencing nature. And I thought, I've always wanted to go to Colorado. I've always wanted to hike the Rockies. It would be awesome to do this. And I said, why not? Dear Sam, Although you think being rich and having a lot of money is the cool thing, it isn't. Here at the tallest peak in the U.S. Rockies. No one gives a shit if you're wealthy. People care about kindness and good work. Never mistake the wanting for money for what you really want. You want to be a filmmaker. You want to be a model. And have style. You want to travel. You don't want money. Money can get you those things, but it's those things that you want, not money. Kids nowadays try to flex their money, but they know deep inside they're showing off their impulsiveness. Don't take life too seriously, or you won't be able to make the best of every moment. Live life and love what you live for. Do meaningful work and don't let societal distractions push you off your course to greatness. Don't look to the past and don't depend on the future. Love what you're doing. Samuel Schachter.